Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. It's time to talk about War Thunder April Fools, and some ideas, at least that I have, when it comes to what I'd like to see from the event. If you don't know about April Fools in War Thunder, it's one of the most celebrated things a year, because it's a time where Gaijin is able to kind of just let loose and create some really cool stuff. They've, over the years, made some fantastic game modes. The Battle of Arrakis was really good, uh, stuff such as the ship uh, game was fun, submarines as well, a lot of people enjoyed, the tank mechs, MLP even got involved in some of the areas, and things like Warfare 2077, looking at a futuristic take on what could be good old War Thunder. So overall, there's just a bunch of different stuff, even the kind of Leopard 2A5 back in the day, uh, which was way ahead of what anybody thought could be possible in War Thunder. They've also done a bunch of other events along the same time, stuff like Atomic Heart event, which was really cool, Tank Football, of course, Tailspin, which was really fun, and a lot of kind of takes on other forms of media which I feel has been really nice. So in this video, we're going to focus on some ideas, at least that I have when it comes to these things, and what I would like to see from the events, and what would be really cool to see going forward. The first one is just the mechs. We talked about them the other day in the War Thunder Nostalgia video. There's a bunch of mechs which are just sat there, uh, don't know if they're fully done, don't know if they're fully ready to go, but they're obviously made, since we've seen them, it would be really cool to actually implement them in the game and have a bit of fun with them. In Enlisted, they did the Chicken Walker event and uh, had a few of these guys, but definitely not all of them. And since the assets are there, it would be cool to see how they could implement them. Other games, such as World of Tanks, have had some different modes, which have been like upgrade modes in a way, where you start off with a base vehicle, and then as you get either kills, or as you last longer or find power-ups, you increase in the amount of armor or the amount of power your vehicle has, and I feel like the mechs that we've seen previously in War Thunder could easily be something like that. It would be really cool to see an event around them, not entirely sure how the map would look like, but it would have to be pretty flat uh, in order for them to move around. The last mech uh, one for War Thunder actually ended up on a map uh, which was it was either Eastern Europe or Poland, I can't remember. I think it was Eastern Europe, so it didn't really work too well with a lot of the mechs. The next one is just June 2 Electric Boogaloo. Obviously, they had the Battle of Arrakis event, which was really fun. And even though it lasted a long time, the awards that you could get from it were really cool. You know, you could get the profile pictures, but then on top of it, you could get a special profile picture with some blue eyes, uh, kind of signifying the whole dust stuff. And there was a bunch of other rewards that were on. It just lasted a little bit too long, but they did a bunch of kind of balance fixes along the way, meant that different vehicles could be used and had a bit of fun with. And I think that was quite nice. Obviously, June 2 has just come out. And since, you know, some of the Gaijin guys were obviously quite a fan of the Dune series, this would be a perfect opportunity to do kind of a pseudo-collaboration where it's not an official collaboration, but, you know, you're using uh, ideas from the world and pushing it forward. This is something we've talked about previously, where you don't necessarily have to do a collaboration with a different company that is creating a product. All you have to do is take the base product and actually create something off of it, such as Masters of the Air. You could have easily done some camouflages for some of the B-17s, which were involved in the 8th Air Force. They don't even have to be, you know, to do with Masters of the Air. It's just something that goes on alongside of it to kind of promote both products in a mutual way. And with the June 2 just being released and obviously doing very well, this would be a great time for a Battle of Arrakis 2. I've always liked the idea of a War Thunder RTS, and I think World War Mode kind of captured that uh, belief that it can happen in some way. Even from a hexagonal point of view, uh, a simple RTS would be really cool to see. So instead of um, actually having, you know, a bunch of players against each other, maybe what you could do is you could have two commanders, uh, Total War style, 
and then they fight against each other, kind of like in a battle map, and then you'll have a bunch of different sides or factions on this battle map, and then depending on who wins what battle, it will take over the map, kind of uh, very similar to a bunch of other ones that we've seen, such as Foxhole. The only difference is that you won't be able to pick what faction you're fighting for. So uh, you'll have a day where you'll be fighting for one, and then you'll be have a day where you're fighting for another. Therefore, you won't just have one faction which will just dominate the board. And I've always liked the idea of RTSs. Uh, RTSs are easily my favorite genre of game. And a perfect mix would have been uh, War Thunder with a RTS built in. I think with World War Mode, they did a lot of really good stuff with it, but unfortunately, they didn't hit the nail on the head uh, when it came to setting it all up. Maybe in the future, uh, it can be done, but at least right now, it uh, wasn't fully there. But it would be cool to see something uh, in April Fools with like a grand map and kind of we've seen with a lot of other games like Hell Divers recently and also many others like Planet Side where having this kind of global competition is very important as long as you don't make it too skewed to one side and it can actually be a great way of introducing new mechanics through kind of world events where you go and play and go and have a fun with you could even create something in War Thunder where you just have a map and in different parts of the map there are different challenges that you complete in the standard game modes and if you complete those you know that gives you percentage towards conquering that area and once the player base conquers that area you know if you've done a specific amount of stuff like completed a certain amount of challenges maybe you get something out of it i think that would be pretty cool you could also just have a game mode mocking craft events or builder bear events. I think it's fair to say uh, we're all um, kind of just done with the crafting event system, which is why it has been banished to the nether realm. It wasn't fun. It got tedious after a while. Uh, it was uh, very confusing to a lot of people especially people who hadn't done it before, and it just became monotonous because it was just clicking buttons over and over again. So an event to actually mock that, I think, would be quite good. In the past, um, you know, Gaijin has actually made things which are a little bit mocking towards them, but a little bit more tongue-in-cheek, like the gold will flow uh, idea, and also uh, stuff like uh, just the free Abrams pack and things like that. They've actually shown in the past that, you know, they don't just take everything to heart, and actually capitalize on these opportunities to be like, yeah, it turns out we kind of screwed up here. How about we have a bit of fun with it? And stuff like that, when companies are able to do like that, do stuff like that, is fantastic. And I feel like in this case, that would be a perfect opportunity. Also, a gun game in War Thunder. I don't know exactly how this would work, but basically, uh, a gun game is where you start off with a specific gun, right? And then, as you go along... What ends up happening is you are able uh, to, once you get a kill, uh, get another gun. And it is a general progression until you get the last gun, which is usually a knife, actually, and you have to get the last kill, and then you win. Imagine in War Thunder, if you have a setup where you have, like, 20 vehicles, and uh, you start off with a specific one, and then you get, when once you get a kill with one, you uh, morph into a different one, and then it goes from there. Now, the only thing with War Thunder is you can't just keep stacking power on power on power, so you'd have to have vehicles in the middle which weren't as powerful as previous ones to kind of slow stuff down, otherwise whoever just got their first kills would just win everything. But the idea of that, for me, I think would be really cool, and hopefully uh, we could see that. An Olympics in War Thunder. We actually did have an Olympic event back in the day in War Thunder to celebrate the Sochi uh, Olympics, but I feel like it's been away for a long time. We didn't have anything for the previous Olympic times, and now with the Paris Olympics coming this year, and since, you know, the Olympic stuff has been a little bit all over the place uh, at, at the same time, I think this would be a perfect opportunity to bring it back and also just add more events to it. Have kind of leaderboards, you know, have different events that people can compete in, and if you get a specific amount of score in each event, you get a prize out of it. You could easily do like a long jump where it's kind of like a golf uh, setup, so you have to time the click properly in order to get the maximum, and then you jump at a specific point, very similar to tank football. You could do stuff like, you know, not just tank football, but also hockey. You could do some ice hockey, <laughs> or you could do rugby, 
or you know just little sports maybe tennis like can you imagine war thunder tennis i think that'll be really cool or war thunder slalom where you basically have to control the vehicle and go down a slalom skeleton style that to me would be awesome and even just like sprints of just uh, very similar to how even like Sonic the Hedgehog did the Olympics games where it was just all about timing and making sure to hit the boosts at the correct time. I think stuff like that would be really cool and, uh, you know, it would be an expansion of many of the events that we have. I remember the tank races back in the day and uh, to be able to get all the cameras for that stuff was really fun. I actually really enjoyed doing that along with all the naval races. The only problem with those events was there was a little bit of desync and a little bit of issues here and there, but for me, I actually thought it was just super fun to play and get sorted, you know. There's, there's plenty of events like that you could kind of mesh together and make kind of a War Thunder Olympics. And then at the end of it, maybe you could give a special prize to people who do really well, like the person who gets first or second in the events it doesn't have to be anything cool just a title which just says i don't know olympic winner or something then war thunder mario kart that there is such a potential to bring in a fantastic kind of game mode for war thunder in the form of races races in war thunder are really fun the only problem with them is the same with a lot of other games which don't have like comeback mechanics and uh, it's the fact that once a person gets ahead, especially if there's a model behind them, they just win. It's very hard for them to lose. And uh, what we found, especially with the Halloween events and also just the general air race events, there is a lot of really cool maps out there and a lot of cool map makers who have made a ton of these things. And it's also not really too hard to make these maps if you want to. Now, imagine if you put a power up system in it where, you know, you could be able to pick up certain things, whether it be like smoke grenades, ESS, or just, I don't know, an engine boost. And it would just mean that it would make it way more dynamic and way more fun to play. Very similar to Mario Kart in that way, but just in War Thunder. And since they've shown that they can take, you know, the standard mechanics that are in War Thunder and be able to, you know, uh, manifest them in different places with additional bonuses... I don't see why they wouldn't be able to do something like this. It would be so cool if they could do that, and I would just have a blast uh, playing those things. I think racing in War Thunder and general competitive team events are some of those things which are a little bit un under-recognized or under uh, undershown, and this would be just a great time to nail them on the head and get them all done properly. If you have any ideas, make sure to stick them in the dis in the comments i'm always interested in stuff like that and as always look after yourselves peace be with you and i'll see you next time i'd like to thank schnitzel stroker brendan quinn vilnaeus character fuel carrion crow nicholas richardson gus irenicus pyman wartinda teddy daniel stanton b young opium prime masonocrats lafouche Alan Hacker, Sam Arslan, Uncle Bean, and Derek R. for supporting the channel.